May 2015, at the age of 38 years old, I was diagnosed with stage four colorectal cancer and it spread to my lungs. It's really hard to describe unless you've been through it yourself and experienced it. It's something I wouldn't wish on anyone else. So I was looking at any and every option and stem cell therapy luckily was the one that really worked for me. It's really quite brutal what we do to cure cancer. This seems so non-invasive. The cancer itself weren't so bad but the procedure for getting rid of it was the worst you could possibly imagine. Every waking hour was trying to find a way to heal and get back on the path to health. But my goal was to tell others about stem cell therapy as we could use this as a first line of defense in helping others as opposed to saving them as a last option. The stem cells do the work themselves. We just try to allow them to do their work and get good outcomes. So how many cases are you treating like this a month, let's say? You know, it is a new field, and so there's a lot of people that are not aware of it. But we do about 10 a month. It's been quite successful. In some ways, it probably makes rehabilitation more effective. It definitely does. It makes it easier, more effective. You have this body healing, not just continuing to degenerate as you are trying to work on the strength and range of motion. And this is something that helps to either slow down or help the body to heal those degenerative conditions so that we can then rehabilitate the person after. I try to use Mother Nature from progressive aging. So how do we harness Mother Nature? And stem cells to use what's in your body to help yourself. There are so many nutrients and chemicals that are going through the blood vessels that we're not even aware of. So we're basically putting the highway for Mother Nature to deliver what she needs to those areas. If I don't have an emergent or urgent reason, I'll try and steer my patients away from surgery completely every and any time and try and do every other modality of treatment. And certainly stem cells fall into that. We've seen some good success with that. We have imaging evidence of that vertebral body and that disc area regenerating with growth of new cells. Each time that we do it, we get more and more excited about it. Wow. Who would want to help people, treat people, cure people, make them feel better inside and out, and be that person who did it? You've been doing these procedures with your patients. Mm -hmm. Their hair's growing back, they're very happy. Mm -hmm. And then, look, rejuvenated, their faces look great. Mm -hmm. It's a new way of medicine to really treat somebody and take away a lot of negatives mm -hmm. and take away a lot of risks that you have. You know, and a lot of people um, have heard myths about it or they think it's uh, smoke and mirrors, but it isn't. And you're gonna see the results when it's speak for themselves. In people with autoimmune diseases, either the, there aren't enough of the cells or the cells don't do what they're supposed to do. And so by taking young, healthy cells and giving them to somebody with autoimmune disease, you can reset the immune system. There have been no serious adverse events. Spinal cord injury, there's nothing for it. And we have cases here of people, complete spinal cord injury, they're able to walk and can they get their bowel function back, bladder function, sexual function. After six months from spinal cord injury, most neurosurgeons would agree that you're not gonna get anything back. And to see people two years out getting restoration of function, it's very exciting. When the cells come into your body, the mesenchymal stem cell will regulate the inflammation and the modulate the immune system, while the other cells will stimulate our own cells to actually regenerate themselves and to propagate within that damaged area. I think that as this beautiful science emerges, physicians really need to understand the truth about stem cells instead of a lot of myth that's been out there for a long time. It's not science fiction, it's biology.